Hello everybody, yesterday I uh, did a tutorial on how to create curve motion like this one. As you can see when I click on this box, it has this curvy animation, the inspiration was coming from the material design movement section and one of my subscribers uh, noticed the fact that based on the tutorial uh, that I created and obviously based on the material design principles on the arc downwards so basically what you see here if I click on this it goes like this but when I click it again it has this downward curve movement and on material design website it says don't do that right so you're not supposed to have this one you're supposed to have this way right but though yesterday the idea for the tutorial was just the upward motion and I just added a toggle uh, in, in my JavaScript, I added a toggle class so that it comes back whenever I click, right? So that I don't refresh the page all the time. So I think this is a good time to give a tip on how to actually have the downward curve following the same path as upward, right? So this is pretty simple. So what, what we added to have the animation is this transition transform, right? And on the open class, on my container, which I used to add it using JavaScript here, so that we have the animation, uh, I kind of used the transform translate 160 pixel on my container and minus 160 pixel on y-axis on the box itself. So what I need to tell you is that when you have the transition here on my container, it will carry on also on the open class on top of container, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this. I'm going to cut it and paste it on my open, right? I will do the same thing. I will remove it from the box and then I will add it like this, right? So I still going to have my upward movement. But when I click it again, using JavaScript to toggle that class, so basically to remove the class from my container and consecutively from my box, it just jumps back, right? The reason why is that I removed the transition. So what happens when I add the class, it knows what transition it is, but when I remove it, there is no transition on my container and there is no transition on my box. That's why it just jumps back, right? So in order to have it back, I will actually copy the transition back on my container class and the same for my box class, right? So you can see that they both have transition 0 0.5 second for my container and one second for my box. So you can see that it pretty much is the same animation, which is, which is what I did. So in, in the first place. So the, the defining it over here, it's as if it's also defined on here. So now to achieve the downward to follow the same path, I only need to change the transition timing on my container to the one that I have on my box, right? So when I open the container, my box will get transformed one second. That's what I want to have on my container. So basically interchanging these two values and also for my box, I change it to 0 0.5. As you can see here, you're going to see that it kind of follows the same path upwards and downwards again. So just to tell you what happens when I click on it, it adds the open to the container. So it transforms on the X axis 160 pixel and the timing is 0 0.5 seconds. At the same time, my box class, when the container gets uh, the open class on it, the box will have a transform of one second, right? So boom, all right? And then when I click it back, now when I remove the open class, it will use this transition, right? So for the container to be closed on the X axis, it's gonna take one second. And for the box to be closed or, or removing the open class on the container which affects this, it will use 0 0.5, right? So you basically change. You use the timing 
of your container when it gets open on your box when it's open and the box itself 0 0.5 you will use it on the container open right so pretty simple so that's that's the whole idea you will choose different timings on when you add the class open and when you remove the class open it uses this transition I hope you like this tip and uh, stay tuned tonight I'm gonna show you another very cool tutorial uh, you know what let me just show you how it looks like going to my profile my cuts and waiting for it it's loading up here and boom so this is what I'm gonna this is what I'm gonna show you how to create this kind of tutorial sorry this kind of animation all right so stay tuned and see you soon goodbye